Good morning, evening, and a possible night, beautiful humans. It's Nick the Sway here again today. It's gonna be our 13th episode in the Hogwarts Legacy single player campaign let's play series. So, I currently have to go talk to Gladwin Moon. We just got high enough level to do this next mission. Finally, it took forever. Had to go murder a whole enemy camp. But, it's all good, because now. We can do the mission. Talk to Gladwin Moon. This guy. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. <laughs> In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch <laughs> what happens when that light changes from day to night. Huh? Huh? Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring <coughs> me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only go at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. Huh. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the bomb mm. to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now. You'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you.
pão. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Sneaking through the towers like a little ninja. This must be the prefect's bathroom. of my venomous tentacular not at the moment no mm. plenty of people to send them my way though i suppose i should begin my rounds now i suppose professor black knows Damn. best but the students are terribly disappointed about quidditch being cancelled because i grabbed that flying page Planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. There you go. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Goodness! 
Yes, you're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, <coughs> I first suspected Pease. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Oh. Bro, I don't have the bread to do buy these things. This is... Oh, what's this? Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. I'll keep an eye out for more Demi Guy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. 
Especially since they can only be collected at night. Oh, someone's been having a wild old time. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I'm sorry to say I haven't found any more. Oh, how unfortunate. Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Uh, here in the castle, in Ogsmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. <laughs> Bruh. On another adventure, are we? Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Shut up, dude. Dollars. We could have at least got you. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Dude, 
dude. Right. Shut up, bro. Jesus. Running my whole... Oh my goodness. Look what you did. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, jeez, bruh. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. <laughs> Fine now, dammy guys. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Steven. There we go. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Fine now, dammy guys. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What? <clears throat>
sure to stop by whenever you're about. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. No way, I'm actually having enough bread to do some of these missions now. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Alohomora. There we go. Fire. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. What do we have here? Can I? The demigods. Potions are a speciality here, should you need any.
Focus Maxima Durs. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. So I gotta... Hello, Mr. Moon. Uh -huh. oh, it's a completely different. Any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, wonderful! Truly. Uh, if you bring me just a few more, I can teach you how to improve casting Alahamora. Bro. <laughs> I just all of my usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite I literally just got like Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding pretty much all of them. How is it? Oh, my tormentor is nothing. I'll keep it. Then not level up my like what? Big is. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What do we have here? A demigod. Bro, I can't get any more. There's, there's just literally nothing more I can do. Got everything I can get. Dumb. I already did this, bro. There's nothing I. It's seven of nine. I can't get any more. Oh. If I get two more, right? But the two I... Bruh. Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any... Akio! Bro. How, what am I supposed to do? Like... They're both... Level two, I can't think. What can I do for you today?
Ah, uh, I could have just... A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. The whole time I could have just purchased the... <sighs> wow. Maxima Endurance Potion. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Bruh. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. A wise decision. Thank you. Steven. What are you up to now? Whole time I could have just bought the potions instead of the recipe. when Professor Sharp is so
How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. <coughs> The three boomsticks, bro. It's all the way in hogs meat. Nice to see Hello, you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Hmm. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, I meet. Welcome to the Ogs Head. Any empty seats? Hello, Lord Gok. <laughs> Sorona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Mm. Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us.
Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. <laughs> what precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. <laughs> And there it is, the witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I've always said that. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Protego Lumos Bed. <laughs> this can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Lumos. Protego. Lumos.
though. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. Bro, what happened to the last? Bruh. Lumos. This has a moth imprinted on it. Same as the door. I gotta get up here. How do I get up there? I see this is supposed to spin, but how? Depulsor. 
Lumos. Ah, that's how you do it. Protego. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Accio. It's sealed shut on the other side. Down I go. No other way. We got actually better. Let's see. Lumos. Uh, what even? 
Lumos. Lumos. Damn, bro, what? Lumos. Lumos. Bruh, this is so annoying. Like, Lumos. 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 How are you supposed to do this? This looks even more complex. Yeah, like, I don't know. Lumos. Uh, Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Lumos. There we go. Jeez. Witch's final resting place. Logok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. The dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Better show this to. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. <laughs> Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. Now, I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock.
To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's change it. Gotta put as a Where's the stupid? Ah, 
That's it. There it is. This is for Rockwood. Uh, I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Depulsor. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. Mm. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Mm. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 15 fire. Let's see. Now, oh, what we got? To Cast the pulso on eleven. Let me get out here. Nope, we can sell it. Alright, so. Earn it. Gonna head over to Hogsmead. First, let's see what we should do here. I don't think we can do anything yet in course. I guess uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. It's gonna conclude our 13th episode in the series. I apologize for the length. Really just was into the missions there. But uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the 14th episode. But as always, peace out. Thanks for watching. I love you. Zoom!